you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at Malcomedia.com to stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you from the San Joaquin Valley Grape Symposium held in Fresno. Growers were addressed today by several speakers on topics impacting the grape industry, one of them being El Nino and what that means to growers this season. Gerald Meadows from the National Weather Service addressed growers on this. I want to talk very briefly about El Nino and what it's going to do to drought impacts. So El Nino in itself is not a storm system. It is a change in weather pattern. It does typically bring us above normal precipitation when we get into these strong El Nino events like we're seeing this season. Now, it will not be a drought buster in that we will not see enough precipitation this season or likely even next season to produce, produce enough rainfall to get us even closed out of the drought. So we're probably gonna see a continuation of, it's starting to fall hard. Um, of these moderate storms coming through, that's very good for soil moisture, so we're going to see an uptick in soil moisture, so a little bit more water storage in the ground than we would see in our large thunderstorm style uh, systems, which produce a lot of runoff and a lot of soil erosion. Now that, that's going to come into play coming as we get into late spring, early summer, as that soil moisture starts to allow for the evapotranspiration process to get that refeed the moisture back in the atmosphere. It's going to get us into the, where we have that instability for thunderstorms to develop. That thunderstorm development is very detrimental to crops in that hailstones can and are produced in, in these events. So El Nino in itself is just a three to five year transitional period in the ENSO, uh, which is the southern oscillation. El Nino is just one aspect of that. We also have the neutral phase and La Nina phases. Neither one of those phases produce much extra precipitation for us statistically, but um, there, there is other oscillations in the atmosphere that can and do bring us more uh, precipitation. One of them mainly is the Madden-Julian oscillation, which is a more of a short fused oscillation that typically brings us our large winter storm systems uh, along the Pineapple Express each winter. So there is still potential for next winter to see that, even though we'll probably transition to at least a neutral phase of the ENSO, if not La Nina. So again, we're probably not gonna see this abundant warm moisture that we're seeing this winter, next winter, but there are other key players in place. Thank you, Gerald. Well, the El Nino may not be the answer to all the drought's problems, but it certainly helps as growers continue to pray for more rain. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.